Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to Wesley Swim Empires and today we have another cast match from the online ladder between in the color green Lash and he's playing the Rus and he's playing against Louis MT on the color red as the Abbasid Dynasty and the map is four lakes with the lakes now being reduced, having less impact in the game, but still a very, very valuable source of food income. And we have the Ruse, which are considered the best sieve on water maps, but in this map perhaps not so relevant, because you don't have so much directly confrontation, you still have it when like you invade your opponent's pond, but it's not like guaranteed, it's not a necessarily focal central part of winning here, but sometimes it does, not always, like maps like Holy Island. On Holy Island, you know you will fight on water. Here, you might not fight on water, so the ability of Rus to transform their ships into combat ships, uh, transport, transforming their fishing ships into combat ships might not be so relevant, but let's see. And on the other side, we have Basid with a lot of economical upgrades available to them cheaper villagers and the golden age from having a network of buildings they can have a lot of economical and military upgrades as well and their docks are cheaper so they can spam docks literally they can put a dock in every single corner and do not invest so much and they can do it earlier than you expect because they don't cost as much so they can have access to that wood first right so let's see how these players will be playing, what strategies will they be picking, and let me know in the comments down below what you think about this matchup. Let's go, let's go. Thank you very much for watching, and remember that you can watch me live on Twitch using the link tree in the description down below. I play and cast sometimes on Twitch as well. So, Lash. Grabbing a lot of sheep, though. Remember, those Roos still wants to kill those... Oh, and look at that. Lucky, lucky Lash. Getting two deer packs real close to his base, getting all that bounty. And Louis kills that back deer pack. And he's killing this one, but the double scout from the Roost player arrives. And Lash gets that one. And that one. And can surely get that one. He just needs to shoot with the two scouts at the same... Yeah, he got it. But great micro from Louis. He almost got it. He, he kind of sensed when the two scouts would shout, shoot. And he tried to make his shot in between the first and the second scout shot. It's the only way you, you can get it. Oh, double scout getting the wolf pretty fast as well. How much is gonna that be? I'm not sure how much wolf is on uh, the bounty. Let's check. It's 25, let's go. Well done, well done. No economical upgrades right now. I think the only upgrade you can get right now uh, is wheelbarrow and forestry, right? Nah, I never know if forest is really useful. Sometimes I get it, especially when I, when I play French. You know, it's cheaper. Why not? It might help. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Let's go. Another wolf for Lash. He must have a really good bounty so far. Oh, but look here. Three relics really close to each other. I think they favor a bit... Lash, right? It's a bit closer to this base, but still not like for free. It's still a bit contested. And we have two Roost ships. Remember, the Roost ships are better, also more expensive, but also better. And they also don't need to travel back to the dock, making them even more efficient, even better. Right? Right. Oh, Louis MT, aging up with the culture wing. Maybe to get some, I don't know, water upgrades. That will discount the value of fresh foodstuffs, right? So you can go for a cheaper fre fresh foodstuffs because it's all upgrades, right? The cost of all the, yeah, all technology. All right, all right. Oh, where is this? Oh, his villager is going to put some walls. To prevent Lash's infiltration. What is this villager doing? What you doing, Vil? Is he... Is he... He wants to do something on the edge of the map. He wants to chop through the edge of the map. He's going for here. He's going to drop a dock here. Good movement. You see, it, it doesn't come across the map. 
that will be very highly likely that Lash's scout will see that. But by coming here through this side, it's very tough to spot. And look! Another dog! L Louis goes for two dogs at the same time. Like, this one will go up, but imagine this one is interrupted. No problem, my friend. I still have this one here. Oh, but there is no space there, so he needs to build it here. Okay. And uh, that's a very good start for Louis here on the Feudal Age. Has two docks already, and that's where the docks being cheaper really helps. He can make two docks at the same time before he ages up. Right? Because how much is it for... Only 75? I thought it would be like 100. But that's half the price of a normal dock. Bro, that's really, really cheap. That's cool, actually. Oh, that's almost going down for Lash. But runs away to re regenerate a little bit. Still being chased by Louis Scout. So here, not nothing in queue right now. Louis doesn't have enough wood. Oh, because he produces a doll from here. Can he snipe a Ville? No, Ville running away with the bounty. Oh, let's go. Let's start shooting. Lash transforming his ships. Transform the fishing ship into a uh, spring old ship and a gallery, a gallery, a galley, which is an archer ship. <laughs> Hides the boat in the corner. Oh, Bagala comes out. Ready to do some damage. The archer ship needs to run away. And now it's... Oh, it's not healing? Why it's not? Oh, because it's full HP. All right. And here, no ships yet. Oh, because Louis is not fishing there. So if Louis wants to use that, he'll, he already have a Louis dog over there ready to ruin things. I like that. <laughs> Bro, a fight between the Springle chips is so boring. They shoot very slow. Archer ship comes in to say, hey, get out of my pond. Bro, Louis has presence in four ponds. If, I mean, I think it's already GG. Because even if Lash defends his own pond, he's a, he has one pond. Louis will have three ponds. Oh! Lash wants to go for a dock. But it's a Dao protecting. No dock here, sir. We go dock somewhere else. <laughs> Bro, this game is being like very focused on these two boats from Louis, perturbing the fishing economy from Lash. But Lash built a knight. All right, the knight goes in. The knight can do some good economical damage on land. But since the docks are already up for Louis, he just needs wood, and that's it. I think he has the game in the bag. He'll have way more fishing. His villagers are cheaper. I don't know if he. Researched um, fresh food stuff, so I, I have to check on his TC. Uh, yeah, because this this will be just happening, up and down. I'm a heal, I'm a attack. So let me see. Oh, not here. Fresh food stuffs, fresh food stuffs being researched at the moment as we speak. So yeah, he'll have more military or more food available, right? Because at the moment the food income is pretty much the same because you have boosted. Roos villagers consuming the sheep. But hey, it's only one. Hold on. Oh, and also, Roos ships are better as well. True, 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 true. But look, Louis starting to expand the fishing economy. Especially if this game goes late, Louis is in such a better position. Spears defending the wood line, very smart decision because you need wood for those boats, right? Lash could go for a second TC here. Oh, three knights coming in. The spears are far away. He'll be able. Oh, and the archers are ready. Ready to counter the spears, okay. 
knights are forced to run away. These two archers will take some time to kill those spears. There is no military upgrades for both players. Oh, look, 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 look. Louis is already going cast away with the military wing. And it will spawn two camel archers, right? Two camel riders. Why two camel riders? Why not, why not one camel archer and one camel rider? Because spawning two camel riders is really to counter cavalry. Right? I would like to conversate with the devs one day to understand their decisions. And, and I'm not criticizing, I'm just really curious. Oh, where are the villagers at? I'm going to gold. So Louis wants to spam knights because he has a lot of food. He has 40 units on food, guys. He has 40 economical units on food. He's already more than double the food income from Lash. So keep that in mind. And he's going to be one age up. Is no Lash is not near to go to the castle age. He's creating knights right now. He, he spawned the militia. He's oh! He's going for rams. Oh, I think that should be a bit... I know, in water maps, this timing is a good timing because you have to use a lot of wood early, right, for the boats, setting up your economy and whatnot. But I think he needs more units. Right? Two camel riders will counter the knight. He has some spear. Louis has some spear. Camel riders are already there. Boot camp coming in, making those spears more bulky. And the veterancy, not yet, coming from the spears... There's a lot of archers, though. A lot of archers. 17 archers. More coming. Because that's not 17. That's 13. Oh, what's happening there? Oh! Oh! No, no, no. Louis defending very well. Yeah, he already has three knights on the field. He has a lot of gold. Oh, he's not picking up relics. He doesn't have enough wood. He's going for double broad eggs right now. And he's still, he's still here. He's still making sure that Lash cannot fall asleep on the water, or he's gone. And uh, I think Louis now just has better units, you know? And he has the three legs. Lash knows that... Louis is on that pond. I don't know if he knows. He, he assumes that he's on his own pond. But I, I, don't, I don't know if he knows about that other pond. Oh, now Lash going to the castle edge himself. With the Abbey of the Trinity. Able to spawn those warrior monks. Knights versus knights. Vill villagers need to evacuate. Oh, but the camel riders are there. They will take care of those knights. Don't worry. Because they do extra damage against cavalry. Bonus damage to cav. How much? Plus 14, that's really good. Oh, a new age begins for a Lash. And let's see, he can go for these relics, pretty chill, perhaps even that one. And this, I think he can grab all the relics because Louis is not interested in them. He has a lot of things going on for him already. Lash trying to get some extra food from those deer. Knights coming in saying, no, no, no. Yeah, this looks tough for Lash. He's getting a lot of gold. Oh, he aged up with the Kremlin. I didn't even notice that. But here we go. Oh, because he spawned the militia. So obviously he had the Kremlin, right? Uh, and I think that's GG. Lash cannot produce more units. The moment they are produced, they are killed. So. Oh, those knights did went. Ah, oh, no, they are over there. Man at Arms now coming from Norbasid player. And GG gets called. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, leave a comment. And I see you on the next one. As a technical surfer. Surfing out.